Hey, what's going on everybody? My name is Chris. I'm here with Kathy. We go by Ginger Marvin on Instagram and YouTube and we have another What's Old video for you today. It is Friday and I'm going to turn it over to Kathy so we can start pulling What's Old for us today. Hey friends, I do want to first thank a few of you guys for buying us some coffees. Uh, Sarah bought us a coffee, said she's a stay-at-home mom, has sold on Etsy on and off for years, decided last Thanksgiving to go full-time on eBay. Our vids are so helpful. Also, she got our spreadsheet to try. It's so rewarding to see exactly what I'm making, yes. Awesome. And will also be great for taxes, for sure. Yeah. So thank you so much, Sarah. Awesome. Yeah, thank you so much for that support. I hope eBay's going well for you. I haven't tried Etsy yet, but... Yeah. Um, yeah, <laughs> I don't think I ever will, but yeah, yeah, that's awesome. Thank you so much. Uh, then someone bought us a coffee. It didn't come through as a name, but thank you so much, someone. There was also no message, so mm -hmm. thank you. All right, thank you. yeah, thank you so um, much. And then this one came in as a so my Las Vegas side hustles. Okay, as a coffee. Thank you so much for the spreadsheet and letting us know about Posture VA. It's a game changer. Yeah, for yeah, sure. definitely a game changer. It really is. Like yeah. I know a few. Well, not a few weeks ago. Probably two weeks into January, I shared like last January. I yeah. made fifty sales total the whole month on like fifty something on um, Posh, and I list the same amount of items. Mm -hmm. um, and this year, I am at. Yeah, today, well, we were not using Posture VA last year. Well, so I don't even know if it existed back then, honestly. I think it did. <laughs> it was kind of like more taboo to oh, like gotcha. share. Even though like everyone secretly knew everyone was doing it. We weren't actually doing right. any sort of sharing things at that time. But right now it's January 28th. I'm at 125 Posh sales. And I really think that's because Posture VA is just sharing my closet all day. So yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's so worth it. So thank you so much, guys. Awesome. Thank you so much for the support and glad you're having success. That's awesome. Yeah. Um, and then I still think I'm saying it wrong, but Hildy, who bought the two items from us, well, we weren't sure, but I thought it might have been a from our last video. Yeah. yeah. Um, so she bought us three coffees, said, I am a watcher. Love your videos. <laughs> um, I do not sell, but find it interesting. Sorry, bad English using Google translation. So thank oh. you so much. I'm positive I'm saying your name wrong and I feel so bad about yeah. that. Thank you so much for that support. We do appreciate it. Yeah. All right, let's jump into some sales. It is earlier in the day, but I want to go to the bin, so we're pulling <laughs> them. I think there's only six or seven, which is making me want to ship in the morning, which is tomorrow, Saturday, and I don't want to ship on Saturdays, but yeah. I guess we'll see what comes in this evening and make a judgment call from there. We got Reesey guy over here. I think he's uh, a little upset at me. I went and got Kathy and I uh, some Starbucks this morning, and I took him with me, and I forgot to get him a little. He puppet looks devastated. I forgot to get him a little puppuccino, and I think he's <laughs> he's mad at me. So <laughs> poor guy. I know. We'll have to tomorrow. Yeah, you get we'll go two. tomorrow, and we'll give you a bath too. How yeah, about that? We keep saying that. We're definitely we got to do it. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back to work. <laughs> um, I sold these little camo Crocs. I've had them listed a couple months at this time. Got an offer of $18 and I accepted. I did have $5.99 into them, so not the hugest profit. I think it was about $7 and some change, but I'll take it. Yeah. So those did sell off posh. I almost feel like it's a viewer. Brittany, if you are, thank you. Mm -hmm. She did not say anything, but I noticed she had previously gotten an offer, I think, of 20 with discount shipping. So she was basically offering the same amount since now she has to pay the full shipping. Mm -hmm. um, but also I noticed she liked something else in our closet. I don't know. I just feel like it's a viewer. So thank you, Brittany, if you're a viewer. Yeah. And if not, thanks anyways. Uh, I will say, you, you uh, I guess right. Though. You're usually pretty right when you think it's a viewer. You got that. I just get like these you have good intuition. senses, I guess. Yeah. Do we have any of those square boxes in the closet? Uh, I think there's actually some in there. Mm -hmm. Which one? Like... Maybe on the far right, one of those. Yeah, those are them. Nope. Those are medium flat breaks. Oh. Well, I'd rather do a square box. So I'm gonna check our closet for yeah. that. Yeah. not, this will work. Right. Yeah, USPS has a square mailing box. Yeah, that, they're really good for little kid shoes. CM. All right, this is a Wonder Wink scrub top. Um, I did buy a few of these for $2.50 at Goodwill. Um, and they're not selling huge, but this one's over $12 plus shipping. I think I'm profiting right around eight bucks after fees and everything. So again, I will take that. All right, and then we'll ship that in just a floral mailer. 
Okay, box 80. Another Poshmark sale. These are some Miss Me denim shorts. Um, these have been in the death closet for ages. Um, I have $2 into them. They sold in a day or two of being listed for 23 with discount shipping. So very happy to just go ahead and finally see them gone. I knew they'd sell once I listed them. I don't, I think it's just cause they were white. I hate listing white items. Like there, I know there's a stain on there and I said yeah. that in the listing that I'm sure there's a stain on here, but I looked them over. Actually, I did see one stain on there, which I showed, but. I always feel like there's more than I even yeah. see. I don't know what to do for those. Maybe just because it's posh. Should I use one of my padded, <laughs> my padded flat rates? <laughs> we need to maybe see. Does the post office carry those small foldy boxes we have? Oh, actually, in person. Yeah, I actually think I bought the wrapped some home last night. Oh, okay. Yeah. One step ahead of me. <laughs> I went so last <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, we mentioned that our boys do swimming on Thursdays, and last night was the last swimming day that yeah. they had. And it, they they swim up near a town called Monument, or they did. <laughs> that was last night. But um, yeah, we usually try to at least hit up the Goodwill Monument the while Goodwill we're up there. Up there yeah, it's not it's not that close to our house, so I try to only go when I'm gonna pass it yeah. for some reason. So yeah sad that we're not I mean I'm sad that swimming lessons is coming to an end for right yeah. now anyways um but also that I won't be in that area of town quite <laughs> as much so yeah yeah I did so I grabbed some of those our post office does have most of the boxes I try not to take theirs because right they need them for the people that just walk in and use them but it says you can grab a few so I grabbed I think five or so but we'll place an order but yeah I like these mailing boxes for small stuff yeah really good for like kid shirts and stuff too and so I should mention that since Thursday nights have freed up, we did mention this in our last video, but we're gonna have a live show next Thursday night at yeah. 8 p.m. <laughs> uh, mountain time. So central, I don't know, is that central? <laughs> I don't know my time yeah. zones. <laughs> 8 p.m. mountain time, Colorado, Denver time. Uh, we're not in Denver, but that's just- Yeah, we're, so our kids go to bed at eight. We might lay them down just a few minutes early. Yeah. Which means you'll probably hear them because they'll probably try to sneak in each other's rooms once we come up here. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. But we're excited. We're gonna start doing some live shows where we can get together and He's you guys. He's excited. I'm very nervous. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why. Uh, oh. It's probably sounds like a message. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> she, she always gets nervous when we get eBay messages. Oh, it's just like uh, something I'm watching. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. It's got reduced in price or something. So anyway, if you guys are free Thursday night, we'd love to have you there and come along. You can ask questions, hang out, and yeah, we're just going <laughs> to, Kathy's going to do some listing, and you'll be able to see her process and all that from the desktop. So that's <laughs> that's going to be fun. I'd love to see you there. Um, this is, <laughs> jumping right back into work. <laughs> yeah. Our business over here. <laughs> um, this is actually sold to a viewer, Michael. Thank you so much. He said he watches with his wife. Um, he saw us show this cool pearl snap in one in the recent haul, and he said he knew we had to have it. So nice. thank you so much, Michael. I listed at 39. He got the Posher BA offer 31 with discount shipping and accepted. So thank you so much. I did pay up for this at 9.99 just because cool sells so fast. Yeah. I knew I could at least double my money, which is about what I did. So thank you so much. Awesome, Michael. Michael thank you so much for the support. Fit nicely in one of those boxes as well. And wife. I know you didn't say her name, but yeah. Michael's wife. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. <laughs> yeah. All right. Box A, B. This is a really good seal. Like, for real, a really good seal. Not like a $4 You're not being sarcastic. I'm just joking. Uh-oh, where are you at? <laughs> just listed. This is that Pendleton scarf. Um, new with tag. I found this at Goodwill for $3.99. What's cool is that I never look at scarves. I just... Um, at this particular Goodwill, I just went over and I was sorting my cart. I always like to go by the books. There's not usually a ton of people over there and it's like kind of more wide open so I don't feel like I'm in anyone's way. So I went over there, there were scarves just hanging and I just happened to see this pattern. I didn't even see the new tag or anything. I was like, oh, that's a cool pattern. <laughs> Let me just look at it. <laughs> and I grabbed it and it was $3.99, so. New tag Pendleton. Yeah, and Pendleton wool. It's not just like cotton or anything, so. What? Yeah. What? It's like, how does this stuff <laughs> like, make it to the Goodwill? Yeah, why did someone buy this and then <laughs> donate it? I don't get it, but mm. I'm happy. Um, so for $71.95 plus ship. It's only been listed maybe a week. Wow. Maybe a little less. So Very good sale. Awesome. Yeah. 
I had debated. So that's only about a seven ounce package right now. So eight ounce label, but um, I was like debating with Chris if I should just pay the, it would have been actually like $5 for a padded flat rate. Yeah. Just to have the coverage or I could have paid like, it was like a dollar fifty or something. Seventy something. Yeah. Extra for to add, like insurance yeah. on first Just in class. In case it gets yeah. ripped or something, you know, some it doesn't. I don't think it's ever happened to us, honestly, but. I have gotten a package where it looked like it went through some machine and just tore yeah. up the whole package and they send you this little note that's like, so sorry, <laughs> your item is ruined right. and that's it. <laughs> so anyways. <laughs> so sorry, we're not going to do anything about it, but here you go. Yeah. <laughs> so basically, I, I'm just going to roll with it. I just purchased a normal first class package and hope that it doesn't have any issues. Yeah, and you know what kind of helped determine that was our cost of goods on it was low enough. Yeah, so it'd be sad because I think it's about a $60 profit yeah. I'm looking for. <laughs> I know exactly what I'm looking for, but I'm not seeing it. <laughs> oh, I think I'm going to do this. This one is kind of a thicker mailer. That's funny. Yeah, and that's what we do double bag. So we have okay. the cellophane bag, which is actually very durable. Yeah. And we have the poly mailer on the outside. And we really like kathy said we haven't really had any issues i think we had one item it was like a little dress remember that it got out of the bag and they couldn't find it and then we had to send them pictures and they found it and it got there and it was still in good shape okay. because we double bag <laughs> well i know i but did also, all the work <laughs> I, I think we've had one broke item too but that was our own fault for right. packaging yeah it was a coffee mug that yeah. we didn't pack properly that was our first coffee mug and we <laughs> we learned that lesson right yeah. so we did yeah um so yeah i mean for to just pointing out we should a lot of stuff out and we don't really get a lot of hey my thing was damaged that either means the buyer handled it on their end which i don't think is very common i think the first <laughs> thing to do is come to you yeah. and say hey it's damaged fix it or whatever right yeah. so um in our experience it it wasn't really worth spending that extra money because we just don't experience it a lot yep yeah, so yeah we decided three ninety nine is what we had into it. The shipping was three something. So yeah. we would be if anything happens to this package, we're out less than eight dollars and the potential profit right. of sixty dollars. But which would suck, but yeah, would the suck. chances of it happening are so yeah. low. And an extra five dollars yeah. for shipping. I don't really want to do that if I don't need to. So Alrighty, so the pair of boots. Some under armor. Just kinda like a tactical boot, I guess. Um, these I picked up at Goodwill a couple weeks ago for $12.99, and they sold for $45 plus shipping. That was an offer I sent to a watcher. Um, I thought those were, like, I didn't even look up comps when I bought them. I thought, oh, those are probably at least $60. Bucks. Um, when I looked up comps when I went to list them, it really wasn't. <laughs> so, like, they, I just thought they would sell for a lot more than they actually ended up being worth. But still, $12.99 into $45 is great. Yeah. But basically you can't judge a book by its cover like if you looked at these wouldn't you think oh those will probably sell for 60 or something dollars just based on how many boots we sell in that range yeah yeah they don't seem to retail a terribly lot to begin with just over 100 i think so okay yeah all right then i sold this all right the quilt Coat. What is this called? I shocked myself on the light switch. Oh, you all right? No. <laughs> um, yeah, I just called it a handmade quilt jacket. Jacket. <laughs> so this was uh, cool. I yeah, like that. I did pay $9.99 for it, but it sold for $65 plus shipping on Facebook Marketplace. So very, very happy with that. And that it is going priority mail. So let me check. I can't remember how much it weighed. under well i know it's under two but yeah so 110 that's probably just a little bit too much to bag and then box so we're probably just gonna double bag that okay so yeah and i did pull down more of these pretty floral polys and double bag because that is too big for our larger cellophane bags so we'll yeah. use two so poly mailer bags and then just for extra protection yeah. that guy in case you're wondering. Yeah. <laughs> that's what double bag means to us. Yeah. Alrighty. That's so that's what sold so for far, us yeah. so far. So I think we'll go ahead and get this stuff all packed up and then we'll check back in with you guys. All right. Got our sales packed up. <laughs> yeah. 
and Kathy just went through some shoes. Yeah, so that's, I mean, they're already typed in, they're already basically ready to go. So I'm gonna head to the bins now because it's still, it's early. So yeah. basically what I've done today, so I've had my listings go live every morning, like at 6 a.m. I've paid the money on eBay just, just to like get in a routine. I don't know yeah. if I'll continue to do it forever, but for now it's definitely helping me just Get going I don't in the even morning. have to think right. about putting up my listings for the day, and they're already up. So, yeah. um, yeah. So I, my listings are up for today. Today is Friday. Tomorrow is Saturday. I already have them all the way typed out. I just need to schedule them. So I'll do that when I get home. Mm -hmm. um, and then these are thirty pairs of shoes, which will be my listings for Sunday and then Monday because I want to schedule them Monday morning because Mondays are always a heavy shipping day and yeah. it pretty much takes the whole day. So. That way, again, they'll just be listed, and I won't worry about not getting listings up on a Monday. Right. And But, yeah, so I just pulled them out so that while I'm gone at the bins, Chris is going to take the numbers off them yeah. for me, but that's it. And then... Yeah, um, these are ones that don't need anything other yeah. than stickers removed, Literally, maybe like some, like, no cleaning really. twist ties taken off or zip ties. So and stickers. Stickers and, and numbers off the bottom. That'll probably take him less than 30 minutes. Right. Um, I'll put on a TV show or yeah. something and <laughs> knock it out. Yep, and then all I have to do, I'll wait till the kids are in bed tonight, but photograph those. Mm -hmm. And then I'm, I mean, the listing is honestly the easiest part of the whole thing. It's the... The buying, the bringing it home, the typing it Processing. in the inventory. Yeah, yeah, that's all the stuff that takes, you know, the little, a little bit here and there adding up. But the actual listing, I can list 15 easily in an hour once yeah. I have them photographed and stuff. So, so yeah, um, I might be spending one hour these first two days. But hopefully by the end of next week, I won't be. Like, hopefully on Friday next week, I will have scheduled yeah. my listings for the whole weekend. And I won't even think about it yeah. for even one hour. So, what are you doing? <laughs> he knows it's about our lunch time, so yeah. he's wanting to probably go outside. <laughs> get a jerky. <laughs> get some, is that what you want? You need to go potty? You want to go potty? <laughs> well, just a minute, Bubba. I don't know. I heard FedEx. all FedEx is out there. Dang, he almost took out their electric <laughs> box. <laughs> um, so, yeah, that's the, the, the nice thing is today is Friday. We're further along for next week than we were last Friday for this week. Yeah. So we're gaining ground. We're getting good progress. Yeah. We're not where we want to be quite yet. No. Nope. <laughs> but we're getting there. So yeah. that's. And like, so photos, especially shoe photos, once he has the numbers and stuff taken off for me, it's less than one minute. Per, yeah. Per Shoes photo. are super so easy to photograph. Those should be photographed in 30 minutes. And we don't measure them. Um, he'll draft them for me. I mean, I could do it myself, but it takes, I just, yeah. I'm slow at I'm quicker it, at it. So. I could do five draftings at a time. Yeah. And he's yeah. just really good at that. So that will take him five minutes and then the listing like i said probably less than an hour per day for sure for the 15 that i put up so and when i say drafting in that case it's that's just putting the f upgrading or uplay uploading the photographs to yeah, list perfectly i don't type words. anything out so i just do upload photos into a list perfectly listing and then kathy goes in and, and does all of her details and I've been from there trying when i type in my new inventory to put at least kind of what I'm gonna have my title as so I can copy from my spreadsheet, yeah. put it in the draft. Um, I do usually add some keywords, you know, try right. to get to as close as I can to the 80 characters used up, but yeah. So again, just slow little improvements yeah. over time, trying mm -hmm. to make it better, but yeah, like the, not the end goal, but right now the goal is to at least have a draft bank before we wanna go on a spring break trip. Right, then that's also, our big, our big right. like next, just, Rally. being faster yeah. like literally today we were done by noon um yeah with everything so including recording a video shipping and everything like that so that's kind of the angle for every day like that's <laughs> what we want every day to be because i want to source more i want to do more you know you guys a lot of you ask can i record myself in the store i want to yeah we we'll always just, just feel like, like we don't have time rush. yeah yeah so like this way it's new and we don't want to get our kids till three i can hit up at least one store per day at that yeah. point and even if I'm slow, take your time and yeah, record it um, and do some more. I'll still get a little point inventory of view stuff. and do that. So, so that's excited. all stuff that's coming down the line. We yeah. just got to get to a place where it makes sense and where we can prepare for it, you yeah. know? So, got to walk before you can run, right? <laughs> as far as the board this week, again, was really good. You can see last week was really good too. Um, so, yeah. 
So the goal is 15 a day. Obviously, I missed Sunday, but I have basically made up for it. So here I did an extra seven, extra four, extra three. So if I do one more extra, I will have made up for Sunday. Which would make 105 listings yeah. for this week. Yes. Yeah. Um, which is our big goal, right? That's like, that's what we're doing all the, like 21 listings a day, yeah. Monday through Friday, equals 15 listings a day, which equals 105. So that's, yeah. if and these then, numbers are weird, that's kind of how we're making it make sense to ourselves. The other thing I want to be at is about $4,000 in listed. So again, these prices that I put here are not plus shipping. Like, right. This is just the price that I price stuff on eBay, not including shipping. So in my brain, I know that my... Um, but you are, you are listing them as buyer paid shipping. I am. I'm just not right. putting so these plus are, $10.99 right. for shipping in this price here. So right. just because I know that like when I sell stuff, and this is with me selling my kids stuff. So honestly, it's probably more profit. But I know my profit's usually about half of my gross sales for the month. Yeah. So basically, I want to make hundred k, which is $274 a day. So I need to at least list that. Mm -hmm. So basically, I'm trying to double the listing of 274 yeah. just to give myself some room to do it so what is that so f i think it's four thousand a week four thousand a week divided by seven five hundred seventy one dollars so that's about what i'm at minimum trying to be at here mm -hmm. at least on average for the week so i haven't quite hit four on any of the weeks although that's still pretty good right so. and obviously we we do have run sales we do all that kind of stuff so obviously yeah. we're you know 610 600 that's good. We're trying to be above that point because we do and like I take said, offers. It's and not it's not accounting for shipping. So right. when I'm saying my gross sales, the whole last year, basically any month you look at in our spreadsheet, if I did ten thousand in sales, I made five thousand in profit. If I did twelve thousand in sales, I did yeah. six thousand in profit. That is including shipping, though. Yeah. But this is not. So I think as long as I stay <laughs> consistent, I'll start seeing a lot better numbers going yeah. forward. So, and again, these hundred and five I did this week, none of them were our kids' items. I don't think. No, I don't, I don't think we think, did any kids' um, items this week. But so this weekend, if I have any free time, I plan to come up for an hour or so, yeah. take kids' photos. Even if I don't list them right away, I'll just have them ready to go. Mm -hmm. um, for and and you're going to be doing that in addition to yes, our 15 Because I don't want to count it right. as the money. Because then you want the 100K not profit, to be you know? not including our kids' yeah, items, but personal their items. Their clothes are a little pricey, and yeah. I buy them knowing I'm going to sell them. So I can't not sell them because that's a lot of money that I've spent on them that I need exactly. to get back. Exactly. So. Plus, I then get them something new. They have yeah. stuff quickly. They're still in that age where they're always growing. So, <laughs> so yeah, that's where we're at. I'm excited for February. I'm excited for everything, honestly. <laughs> <laughs> I know I never sound that excited, but yeah. I am excited. And, you know, the whole uh, us trying to get our work done Monday through Friday. If you've been following the channel for a while, you know that we've been replacing the flooring in our house and we're not done yet. We have most of the bottom floor done except for our our bedroom, the master bedroom, closet and bathroom. So like the master suite, that's something I'm starting on this weekend, which is great. We've got all of our listings kind of taken care of. I'll be able to put a good half day Saturday and get working on that, get some good progress on that. So just trying to get our our, our home, I don't know, what, what should we call it? <laughs> our home uh, base camp? Oh, yeah. I don't know, like some kind of, anybody have a cool term for that? Like our foundation? I don't know. I think you understand what I'm saying. Got to get our foundation uh, strong so that we could branch up and build out on all the other stuff. So the, that's the idea of us doing the 15 a day. Anyway, I'm super excited. Kathy's super excited. We do feel like we're making good progress. It's it's great because we've been setting these achievable goals for us for throughout the week, and that's going to help us make our big goals in the end. So Anyway, I think that's gonna do it for this video, guys. We're gonna go get some lunch. Kathy's gonna go sourcing. I do have a video to edit and some shoes to process. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the viewer support today, guys. We do appreciate that so much. And I can't wait to see you guys in the next one. And don't forget, we're gonna have a live on Thursday, February 3rd at eight o'clock Colorado time. So I hope to see you guys there and we'll see you in the next one. Bye.